How's it going? Welcome in. Yeah, my name is Matty. It's good to meet you too. What brings you in? Nice. Nice. When do you go back? Oh, that's that's like next next week. Whoa. Nice. Okay. So we're doing a little school shopping. Wonderful, wonderful, okay. Um, well, you came to the right place. We're gonna get you hooked up. Um, what do you have in mind? Uh-huh, uh -huh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, okay, so something like an everyday wear kind of thing. Um, Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. Yeah. So 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 an everyday wear, and then something maybe a little bit nicer. Your your grandma hooked you up with some extra. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Um, okay. So an everyday wear. Something like a little cooler, like a maybe kind of a hype sneaker. Okay. Hmm. And then, okay, well, I can tell you have good taste. It, it, it's actually very helpful uh, that you know what you want. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, what grade are you going into? Nice, okay. Are, uh, are shoes, uh, uh, sneakers a big thing at your school? Like, are people into it? Yeah. <laughs> nice, just trying to impress some people. Okay, okay. So, I have a few in stock. What size are you? Okay, okay, perfect. Um, those are, that's, I mean, that's arguably the most common size. So, I'll have to see what we have in stock. But, um, yeah, I'll, I, can, I think I have a few in, in mind that I could pull to show you. If, if that's something that you like, do you, I mean, you know, are you in a hurry or? Okay, great. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think I know what you want. I can kind of tell from your style, like you're, you definitely keep up with what's going on. Um, I definitely know what I want to do for you for the everyday shoe. Um, the cooler one. Okay, I think I think I know what I want to do for that, and then the third one I definitely know. I definitely know what I'm gonna pull for you. So, um, okay, give me a second and let me go to the back and make sure I have these uh, pairs in stock for you uh, in your size, and uh, I'll be right out with with a few pairs. Is that cool? Okay, cool. And then um, while I'm back there. Feel free to look around, obviously, uh, if there's anything you want to try on or see, uh, just pull it off the shelf and, uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. Yeah. Give me a minute. Let me run to the back and see what we got. Okay. All right. See you in a minute. Okay. So I pulled a few pairs for you. I think you're going to really like them just based on uh, what I can see from your own style and then kind of what you were talking about. Um, do you have time to just kind of go through them? I mean, it's up to you. I can just hand them to you. You can. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, so the first one I sh I'll show you, I guess, is uh, kind of the everyday wear thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, let's go over that first. So. Um, can you tell from the box? First, the first shoe, um, the reason I pulled these is because if you're talking classic, okay, if you're talking everyday wear, if you're talking goes with everything, and also if you want to talk, um, you know, the just the cool sneaker, the, the go-to day-to-day sneaker, um, this is the one. 
um, it also impressed people because it is the the cool everyday shoe in my opinion so yeah let's go through it. okay so the everyday sneaker i pulled just a classic A classic uh, Nike Air Force One. Okay, can't really go wrong with can't really go wrong with an Air Force One. To be honest, you know what I mean. It's um, it's been a classic for uh, actually 30 years now. Yeah, 30 years. I know. Um, yeah, these were actually. Um, and tell me if I'm wasting your time. I don't want to hold you too long. But um, these were actually just released. Uh, they were released in 1982, which would make it. Uh, wait, no, that's 40 years. 82, 92, 02, 12. Yeah, that's 40 years. Sorry. Um, and this was actually the first um, basketball shoe for Nike Air uh, that they ever came out with. And 40 years later, it is still, you know, the classic, the most sold uh, lifestyle sneaker. Uh, which is interesting because you know it just became a lifestyle sneaker certainly not anything to um, play basketball in <laughs> these are um, not great for that but um, you know for an everyday sneaker these go with everything you can wear these with any outfit that you want you know you can do shorts with these you could do jeans you could do joggers you could do sweats you could do you know anything uh, with with small whites Okay, you can never go wrong. So this is the color white on white, of course. Um, there's some stitch, these stitch overlays like this. Um, that's just for support and style. And then this is the low, so it's a low cut uh, silhouette, which adds a clean, streamlined look, if you will. Um, just classic, you know. I mean, there's a couple Air Maxes that are um, they're classics as well, but, um, if you're talking sneakers, every sneaker head, every person has these, um, so you gotta have these in your, in your repertoire, if you will, so, um, yeah, these are what I suggest for you, for your everyday look, um, and again, it goes with everything, um, you can style it however you want, um, but yeah, especially for school, just super clean. Any thoughts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, out of almost every Nike shoe ever, there's more colorways of the Air Force One than anything. Um, we do have a couple other colors in stock, of course, um, but you said an everyday look and every day to me just kind of feels like something that goes with everything. So. What do you think? Huh? Love it. Okay. This is my favorite part of the job is when, um, <laughs> when I'm good at it. <laughs> uh, just meaning I can kind of tell someone's vibe and and style and then um i love uh i love helping them find that so okay we got the air force one um so that's the everyday shoe that you want okay so the next one that i want to show you is the maybe a little bit more expensive kind of cool sneaker if you will maybe even a collectible that you wear only on uh you know a special occasion or something yeah yeah so let me put these to the side. So this is the Air Force Ones. Okay, so just remember they're over here. And then we'll figure out what you want to get after. Okay, good. Okay, so the next one. Um, this is kind of a selfish thing for me. Um, just because this is uh, <laughs> one of my favorite shoes of all time. And I mean all time. Any genre, any brand. It's one of my favorites of all time. And so I pulled this just to... Because I think they're amazing. <laughs> but also... Uh, I think they kind of fit with your what you're looking for. Um, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more hype, if you will. Um, maybe even a collector item. Um, just one of those ones that you're like, if you know, you know. 
You know what I mean? When you wear these, people are going to go, oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, what I pulled here. And if um, you have any sneakerhead friends that really know, they would already know from just These are probably in my top five, uh, five, top five favorite shoe of all time. And the ironic part of that, uh, remember when I show you these, is the number five. Okay, so for the sh for the sneaker of like, you want to show off a little bit, you want to show people that you know what you're doing with with your shoe game. These are the ones. Okay, so, you know, I don't think that these are an everyday sneaker. Um, of course, any shoe can be an everyday sneaker, but um, I think if I were you, I would save these for uh, when you really want to, when you really want to show out, okay? So, these are the, remember when I said they're in my top five? Oh man. <laughs> so these are the Air Jordan 5 um, fives. They're doing retro fives. And these are the dark concords. So what we got here is the classic Jordan 5 silhouette. Uh, definitely one of the best silhouettes they've ever done. Okay. And uh, sneakerheads know. Okay. Sneakerheads know, um, you know, one, three, five. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. There's just certain ones that are like, yeah. <laughs> so um, these actually just came out recently. So these were released August the sixth of this year. This co uh, this colorway. So it's a re-release, re of course. Okay. And. Um, yeah, like I said, these are a little bit more expensive. These run two hundred dollars, whereas those Air Force Ones I think are one ten. So they are more expensive, and these are based on the classic game shoe that Jordan wore in nineteen ninety. Okay. Um, so it has iconic details like the bump out collar, which is this. It's like a big padded big padded a collar there the lace toggle so, yeah, the little lace lock okay and um, this is kind of a cool little fact um, these are actually inspired by fighter jets uh, fighter planes and that's kind of this whole design that whole design is inspired by a fighter jet. So, and then my favorite part, of course, is the Concords. This is in white, black, and Concord, which is what Nike calls this, what Jordan Nike calls this purple color. And then a bright silver oversized tongue on it as well. So, um, there's a visible air pocket here for cushioning genuine and, and synthetic leather on it um, it is in my opinion just one of the greatest Jordans ever who doesn't like a white black with a splash of Concord on it so good um, what do you think my and my favorite part <laughs> the icy bottom just looks like ice Yeah, they, they are, um, like I said, they are more expensive, of course, they're 200 um, the only reason I pulled these though was because you, you mentioned that you wanted to get something a little more expensive, just kind of a, more of a hype shoe, and then you said your grandma gave you some extra money, so I wasn't sure what to do there, but, um, 
that's why I pulled these. Again, it's also a, a selfish pull because it's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, thoughts on the fives? Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is um, I'll put them back in the box here. Okay. And you just think on it. Okay. I have one more to show you, of course. And then once we're done, we can just kind of go review them. And you can just tell me which which ones you want to go with. Okay. Okay, great. Let me put these aside. Okay. So the last one that I pulled is out there. Okay. It's a little bit different. Um, but and as crazy as they look, I know for a fact that they are very popular in high schools. Um, I see a lot of kids wearing these, which is kind of crazy because they're not, you know, um, if you can get them when they drop, they're not very expensive, but the resell is, is pretty crazy. So, um, anyway, I'm just trying to push these upon you because I know that you would get a lot of compliments and you would be cool uh, having them. But, again, they are different. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of uh, a lot of my friends, the siblings and stuff, they all have these at their high school. And uh, yeah, people seem to really like them there. So, and they are unbelievably comfy. Okay, so let's, um, this is the box. I know how this looks like a, <laughs> just a normal box. And what is inside though is anything so, like I said, these are different at first look. Maybe you know these, though, but I had to pull these because they're one, they're really cool. I wear them all the time. And also, um, <laughs> these are very rare to have in stock, especially in your size. So I had to offer it. So are, are you ready? All right. So these are... Yeah, you've seen them, right? Yeah, so um, these are the Yeezy, the Yeezy, the Yeezy Foam Runners, okay? So I can tell you all about these because it's one of my favorite shoes. And I know at first look, you're going to go, that's the weirdest looking shoe ever. It looks like an alien. And it does. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about them and try to sell you on them if that's okay. I know you already know what they are, but... Just go with me, okay? So, these are in color onyx. So, they're like, they're black, but it's kind of an off, off black, if you will. Okay? Um, these were released June 8th of this year. And actually, these, um, if you can get them when they drop, like I said, they're only $90. Okay? Okay? which is, um, I'm sure how a lot of people get them. Resell though, they're two, normally they're about $200. Um, I've seen them anywhere from like 180 to 350 or so resell. And the reason is one, they're very popular, but also they're designed by Kanye West and anything that, anything that, um, Kanye does, of course, sells out in two seconds and is the hottest thing in resell in streetwear and lifestyle so um that's the re that's the reason uh that the resell is so crazy um but yeah so they're designed by kanye okay and this is a sleek monochrome finish okay futuristic slip-on style so yeah these are slip-ons see that they're just one piece just one piece slip-on okay it's injected um, black injected EVA foam and it's molded into one piece so there's no breaks it's all one piece which is really cool um, there's strategically mapped vents all around so all these openings for airflow and then the coolest thing to me is the bottom they're wavy 
wavy traction outsole that's great for wet or dry ground. See the waves? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's almost like for the cool kids that know, these are like the new forces. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I see kids all the time in these. Um, so I had to pull them mainly because... These are great shoe. They're, they're, they are maybe the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. And I'm not kidding. But also, um, this is really rare to have in stock. And so, just wanted to make sure you knew we had them. So, yeah. Yeezy Foam Runners in Onyx. Okay. So, what do you think about you getting them? <laughs> I figured you would like they're they're very rare to have in stock at a store but we got you okay so we have the all-white air force ones we have the concord uh fives and then the yeezy foam runners what do you think give me your thoughts mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so for sure on the Air Force Ones and the and the Foam Runners. And then you're thinking about the Fives, so. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. They are, um, in, my, in my opinion, I've been in, in the sneakers my whole life. Um, I think that the Fives are like, there's weird like tiers of sneaker heads. You know what I mean? And if you're really trying to impress people by your sneaker selection, the fives are pretty high up there for um, for that. You know, like, it seems like the last couple of years, everyone got some Jordan 1s. They had a huge resurgence in 1s. So, like, 1s are great, and I still wear 1s, but they've kind of lost their magic because everyone has them. They're like Air Force 1s, you know? They've became kind of an everyday shoe for a lot of people. Then you got the threes, you got the elevens, the sixes, sevens. The fives, though, are still the only ones that, like, still kind of give you, this is going to sound crazy, but still kind of give you that magic of what Mike did on the court. Um, LeBron's the go, by the way, but um, what he did on the court in these is just incredible. 1990, it's just one of those. It's hard to explain. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really do. That's. You want to get all three? Look. This is just me. This is not even me trying to be a salesman anymore. You just made a great decision. You're getting the white on white forces, which are. You can't go wrong. You're getting the fives, which are like. You want to show off. And then you're getting the easy foam runners, which means you know what you're doing. Like, those are the ones. So, those are all great. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. It's uh, it's my pleasure. Okay. So, we're getting all three. Can I get you anything else? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Look around. And I will meet you up front whenever you're ready. And I'll box, I'll box all these back up and have them at the counter for you when you meet me up there. All right, I'll see you over there. Okay. 